was July 3, 2010, and Amare Stoudemire was the most wanted man in New York City. The star basketball player had just opted out of his contract with the Phoenix Suns, and rumors were flying that he was about to sign an insanely lucrative five-year contract with the New York Knicks worth almost $100 million. Stoudemire arrived in the city that afternoon and, like so many out-of-towners had before him, he decided to commemorate the occasion by taking in a Broadway show. Rock of Ages, he tweeted. It's going to be great. Quote. When Timothy Chalamet saw that tweet, he zipped up his white hoodie and sprang into action. The then 14-year-old LaGuardia High School student stuffed a Knicks jersey into his backpack and raced from his Hell's Kitchen home to the Brooks Atkinson Theater near Times Square, hoping to win an autograph from the hotly pursued basketball star. Rock of Ages had already started by the time Chalamet got there but he camped out for two hours until Stoudemire finally emerged from the theater. A New York Yankees cap pulled low on his head but his nearly seven-foot body still pitched to the heavens. Chalama darted in, offering his jersey and a felt tip marker. The boy had come prepared. So had the paparazzi, who'd been staking out the Brooks Atkinson alongside him. Chalamet who is now 21 and starring in the film Call Me By Your Name, recalled the story recently at the Regent Beverly Wilshire Hotel, building to a triumphant smile. In fact, he said, the first picture of Amari ever holding a New York jersey was in the Daily News. And there's a young me holding the jersey up to him to get him to sign it. Quote, Chalamet is on the verge of becoming a major actor but to spend any time with him is to learn that he is still a big fan at heart. Just this week, after winning the Breakthrough Actor Trophy at the Gotham Awards, an excited Chalamet used his speech to pay tribute to New York artists who inspire him, John Leguizamo, Cardi B, Martin Scorsese, he extolled, and now, thanks to Call Me By Your Name, Chalamet has devoted young fans of his own. They call him King on Twitter, and they dig up his old audition videos and school projects to disseminate like contraband on Tumblr. They wish Chalamet good morning and good night every day without fail, and they change their screen names to incorporate his. All this for a movie that but has only just come out in the United States, and an actor who is tipped to be nominated for an Academy Award but is not yet a household name. It's thrilling, quote, Chalamet said, with a grain of salt, quote, as an example, he described me in October screening of Call Me By Your Name at Lincoln Center where he sat on stage, basking in applause and audience adoration, and then fell backward out of his chair. To do that in front of one, 300 people was devastating in the moment, but also a great lesson of, you know what, man. Nothing's changed. Single quote quote. Nothing. Perhaps. Except the fans who found it so endearing that a clip of his falling got over a thousand likes. On Twitter. All that attention is fitting. Given the story that has put Chalamet in the spotlight. In Call Me By Your Name. He plays precocious Elio. Who spends six summer weeks in Italy fixated on Oliver. Army Hammer the handsome grad student who has come to work with Elio's professor father. Before he becomes Oliver's lover, Elio is the strapping American's most ardent fan. And in the Andre Asiman book that Call Me By Your Name is based on, Elio's thoughts spill out in first person as he analyzes every word uttered. Swimsuit worn, or move made by his crush. Call Me By Your Name isn't just a love story between two people. It's a story of being sustained by the act of love, of stoking it constantly and delighting in the pain and joy that it brings. Though the story takes place in the early 1980s, it's easy to imagine a modern-day Elio who, instead of scrawling unsent love notes to Oliver, would post those missives to a social media account to be read by online friends in the throes of their own obsessions. Chalamet is well cast to portray that feeling. Like Elio, he enthuses about what he loves. 
He also occupies that liminal phase between boy and man, and is now transitioning from aspirant to full-time artist. Chalamet grew up in New York City and has been acting since he was a child, popping up in Homeland and Interstellar as well as leading the John Patrick Shanley play Prodigal Son. But unlike many former child performers, who can become hardened and artificial over time, Chalamet remains an appealing open book.